All right, some good news for a change. What? I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast with you or Nathan, but when the Nintendo Switch service, online service, was first announced, um, because apparently that's the new model that everyone's moving to, except for PC, which still manages to keep online play free. Um, but one of the bonuses, I guess you can call it, is... For one month, they would give all of the subscribers access to an NES or Super NES game um, that you could play for the month. And then next month, you would lose access to that game, but you can get a different game. Um, Almost like a weird monthly rental service. Um, And it was going to be about $20 for the year. And it was going to start in the fall slash late summer of this year. Well, bad news is they delayed it to 2018. And I don't believe they said they have said what part of 2018 it'll be ready. Um, but considering that we're about halfway through 2017, that's, that's still, a, still a ways away to go. But here is the major change to it. Still going to be $20 a year. You can also pay for a month for $4 or three months for $8. So if you want to just give it a shot for a few bucks, you can. Um, You will have access to a growing, what they are calling currently, the classic, a library of classic games with added added online play. So let's say uh, they release... What's a good co-op game? The original Mario Brothers. Not Super Mario Brothers, but the original Mario Brothers, which was kind of like that uh, mini game that they used in Super Mario Brothers 3 where you fight over the POW the power block and you know how that, that worked. Let's just say that's online and you can play two-player online against someone else. That's neat. And it's kind of working like the almost like the Xbox um, the Xbox uh, plan the I think they're calling it that the game pass uh, yes Xbox game pass where you kind of for a subscription fee you get access to a big library of games um, it's only going to start with the, the Nintendo service however is just going to start with three different games and I believe that those three games, are Super Mario Brothers 3, Balloon Fight, and Dr. Mario. So you could play Dr. Mario online. That sounds pretty cool. Even though you can do that in, in an emulator, but let's face it, more people are going to play this online than playing a random emulator. So good on Nintendo for doing this because I, I honestly feel this is one of those cases where Nintendo actually listened to what they were hearing people say about how you're only going to let me have this game for a month and then I have to buy it after that even though I'm already like paying for the service um this is better because you're going to have classic games that you have access to and the value of it will just keep increasing what's your thoughts I think this is definitely going in the right direction for it like 20 bucks it's it's not a lot of money for how many games you're gonna get because I mean if if you wanted to play well no never mind no yeah I think it's I think it's good there was one caveat to it they did say that they were considering including Super Nintendo games. So now it seems Super Nintendo games may be off the table. Which but is dumb. That, but exactly. That would not be a wise decision. They should be including, I would say, include games all the way up through Nintendo 64. Or, yeah. And I know you're still going to have the virtual console. You can still download games, you know, a la carte, if you'd rather do it that way. But if you are a retro gaming enthusiast... And furthermore, you can play them all on the go with it being the Switch. I think that's a great, great idea. So, 
Good on you, Nintendo. You did something right for once. <laughs>